Yesterday, the Angels completed their three-game sweep against the San Diego Padres. I went the first night. It was a great game. Manny Machado hit the first home run. Gave um, the Padres a 1-0 lead, and then the Angels actually came back and won the game. I'm not going to talk much about this game, but you can actually go watch the video. I'm going to put it up here on the, uh, the screen, so you can actually go find it and watch it if you haven't seen it yet. The Angels, unfortunately, are still currently tied in last place with the Oakland A's who both ironically have the worst owners in baseball, all of Major League Baseball. And I'm sure both fan bases would love each of those owners to sell their teams and to get owners that really care about building a winning team. And, of course, Oakland, I'm sure they'd like to keep the A's in Oakland. Uh, they're moving to Sacramento next year for three years until they go to Las Vegas. I'm not sure if they're even going to be going to Las Vegas. Who knows? Only time will tell. So, yes, the Oakland A's plan is to move to Sacramento for three years, at least three years, until the Las Vegas stadium is built. However... There's talks that they, they they may not be playing in Las Vegas. They may end up playing in Sacramento or I know Salt Lake is interested in a Major League Baseball team. Either an expansion team or a relocation team. So anyways, back to the Angels uh, series against uh, San Diego Padres. Let me talk about Game 2 and Game 3 because both of those games I did not go to. Okay, so in the first game, the Angels won the game 4-2. to two against the Padres. So the Padres did put up the first run on the board in the top of the third inning when Manny Machado hits a single drive to drive in Luis Arias to give them a 1-0 lead. In the bottom of the third, the Angels' Luis Renjifo hits a single and Luis Guillerme scores, tying the game 1-1. And in the bottom of the seventh, Zach Neto hits a base hit double. And Logan Ohapi and Joe Adele scores give the Angels a 3-1 lead. And then a wild pitch by a pitcher, Enel de Los Santo lets Mickey Moniak score for the Angels' giving him a 4-1 lead. And then the Padres try to come back in the top of the eighth when Jake Cronenworth of the Padres hits a single in the top of the eighth, driving in Fernando Tatis Jr. to make the score 4-2. And then Carlos Estevez gets the save and Matt Moore the win for a final score of 4-2. And that secures the Angels series, first series win, first time in 2024. In the third game where the Angels won the game 3-2, Nolan Shanowell Starts out with a solo home run to center field to give the Angels a 1-0 lead in the bottom of the first. And then the bottom of the second, with Logan Ohapi on base, Zach Neto hits a two-run home run to left center field to give the Angels a 3-0 lead. And then the top of the sixth, Luis Arias doubles to drive in Luis Camposano to make it 3-1 Angels. Third is Camposano. He's headed to third throw. He's going to nowhere. Oh gets thrown God. away. It's going to go near the Padres' dugout. Camposano will score. And the Padres are on the board as Arias gets to third. That throw was to nowhere. Also in that same inning, Fernando Tatis Jr. hits a single to drive in Luis Arias to make it 3-2 Angels. Two outs. Pops it up. On the infield. Zach Neto is there. He's got it. Say good night to the Padres. The Angels have swept San Diego. Matt Moore gets the save and Jose Soriano gets the win to complete the Angels first sweep at home in 2024. So I, I talked about not this was not only the Angels' first home sweep, but it was also their first home series win. So the Angels will be playing against Houston Astros this weekend. And let's hope that they keep the momentum going and they can sweep the Astros. They did get a series win in Houston earlier this year, winning two games to one in Houston. I'm planning to go on Saturday night. That's a 7.05 start time, which means that batting practice starts at 5.30. And I could probably go to in and outs or somewhere else other than Angel Stadium to pregame it. So I don't have to give Artie any more of my money. I was thinking Friday night, but it's Mike Trout bobblehead nights, which means that ticket prices are more money and it'll be more crowded during batting practice. Yeah, I like to avoid the big crowds during batting practice. It's pretty packed during the Padres game because it's only 100 miles away and it was kind of difficult to get a baseball. I am trying to get ball number 99 and 100. Angels is de Angel Stadium is definitely a tough stadium to do that at. I'm gonna try to look at some seats See if I can find any good seats like by the dugouts for a reasonable price. I'll just uh, check and see 
or maybe in the outfield, right field usually. Uh, I sat the last two the last two games I went to Angel Stadium. I sat in the 400 level. A few foul balls came in the first game, but not very many in the second game I went to. I want to thank you for watching. Please like this video, share this video, and subscribe so you see future videos. And while you're waiting for my next videos to upload, you can watch the videos that show up at the end of this video. Anyways, thank you for watching and have a great day.